There are a number of aero bikes on the market today, but with this brand new Canyon Aeroad CFR, the German company has a technology that no one else has. Can you guess what it is? Boulder is that away. Thank you. Yeah, sure. The big story here is the cockpit titled the CP0018. The biggest story within that big story is the adjustability width-wise. You've got 40 mil of total adjustment, so a bar can go from a 38 to a 42, for instance. This is, solves one of the problems of the beauty and the double-edged sword of the integrated bar stem. These things look great both to the eye and to the wind tunnel, but adjustability before this was you get what you get. So with this bar, you can adjust again up to, to 40 mil. You can also adjust uh, 15 mil in your stack height adjustment without having to cut the steer. So that makes for a nice clean look, uh, you know, compare that to the traditional option of having the steer to protrude up over the stem and having to to cut it to fit. So here it's just nice and clean at whatever height it is. It is limited, however, to that you know, 15 mil, which is less than a normal bike. Another benefit Canyon claims to having the wings come off the handlebar is uh, you can pack the bike in for shipping. That's certainly not something that I've tried yet, but uh, it's good to have options when packing a bike. Lastly, with this new cockpit, all the stuff goes inside. Uh, the, the previous Canyon Aeroad had a similar integrated bar stem, uh, but brake hoses would run uh, outside the bar. Here, everything's tucked inside. And while mechanics may look at this and shake their fists, uh, wind tunnel engineers look at this and give it a thumbs up because you can shave a few watts of drag by keeping everything nice and tidy. Now, much of the aerodynamic wizardry comes courtesy Swiss side. You may know them from their wheels, but they are also an aerodynamics consultant for things like these D2 Swiss wheels or the cockpit. They operate out of a wind tunnel in Germany and help brands dial in uh, the last ittiest bittiest bits of their aerodynamics. The folks behind Swiss side are former Formula One engineers and they bring their deep experience and technology to bear in bike products like this Canyon Air Road and the new cockpit. As you would expect by now, having been on the receiving end of marketing, this bike is lighter, it's tighter, it's the fastest aero bike on the market, according to Canyon. It is, compared to the previous Air Road, uh, a little bit lighter, a uh, few grams less drag, and this still comes in at 7.26 kilos in size medium, which is 16 pounds, so still, still over the UCI limit, but uh, respectably light for uh, such a deep aero frame with deep aero wheels. Now, while few will dispute the aero benefits of aero bikes, some can take issue with the ride qualities of many aero bikes because often with you know, such deep profiles comes rigidity, which may be good for power transfer, but is not necessarily the most comfortable thing to ride. Let's talk ride quality. Starting up front, the handlebars, plenty rigid. If you hadn't told me that the bars came apart, I would have no idea that that was the case because they feel like any stiff aero bar, no give when you're pulling back on them, but still reasonably comfortable when riding on the hoods or in the drops. At the back, you've got a deeper seat post, uh, again, for the aero benefit. But one nice thing about this that is that in addition to the carbon layup uh, being tailored to have a little cushioning, you've got some mechanical things at play, such as when the post is inserted into the frame, it's only about half the width uh, where it's bolted in. So you've got a little mechanical give as well as the, the built-in give in the layup. Now, make no mistake, this is nowhere near as compliant as say the seat post on the Canyon Ultimate, which you can push down on and, and visually see. But it, this just feels more like a, a normal seat post and not you know, the aero seat post you might've known from a couple years ago. The frame in that way is comparable to the seat post. Clearly designed for aerodynamics, it's plenty stiff when you stand up on it to sprint or to climb, but doesn't beat you up. Wheels and tires, of course, play a huge role in how a bike feels. You've got 62 mil deep DT Swiss wheels here with a 25 mil front and a 28 mil rear. 
to me, this is clearly something coming out of the brains of the Swiss side folks, knowing that uh, a skinnier tire is arrow, narrow is arrow up front. Uh, and in the back, you've got a little more comfort where that width isn't as important in terms of aerodynamics. You can fit up to a 30 mil tire if you really want to get cushy, both front and rear. The bike comes in eight models in three different platforms. Uh, this is the top end Aeroad CFR. There's still the CFSLX and the CFSL, which starts at about $4,000. This guy here, $9,000 with SRAM's red ETAP axis. You can also get the Shimano DI2 Durace version for the same price. One thing I dig about the SRAM ETAP model is it comes with a power meter. In my mind, any bike that costs this much, $9,000, should have a power meter built in. Lastly, just little details that I appreciate are things like an integrated tire lever on the wheels. Some bike companies are going the way of shaving those off for ultimate aerodynamics uh, and looks. But fact of the matter is when you get flat tires, it's nice to be able to take your wheels off without having to get tools out. So kudos to Canyon for the small user-friendly details like that. Is the Aero the fastest aero bike in the world? I don't know. Yes, it feels great and fast at speed, but one thing Canyon can certainly claim is that this is the only aero bike in the market that has handlebars that come off. Now, in addition to the novelty of the look of that, it does answer at least half the equation of how do you adjust a bike with a fixed bar stem? So Canyon has solved for the height question, at least within 15 mil. They have now solved for the width adjustment, but the length of the stem still is what it is. Now you can, if you want a slightly different setup, you can order that separately from Canyon and they will give you a credit on the original one, but then you're going to have to have it uh, pay a mechanic or do the work yourself to do the switch out. So that's one downside to uh, what is otherwise the price upside for Canyon's consumer direct model is that uh, adjustability, while certainly improved now, uh, still may require a little bit of money if you want something different than spec. The frame is comparable to the seat post. Clearly deny it. Blech. The frame is comparable. <laughs>